Welcome back to Streamline Ed. And of course, we're on the dashboard of Streamline Ed again. And of course, let's go to the course that we are going to be making changes to. Now, if you are a high school or middle school teacher, you know that you teach this one class, but throughout the day, there are multiple periods of that class. For example, I teach chemistry, but I teach first period chemistry, second, and then sixth period chemistry. And in between, I teach AP chemistry, okay, in for fourth and fifth. So, you don't want to create individual course for each one of those periods. That would take a lot of work. But what we can do is that we can create different section or call different groups for each of those periods. But in the end, we only have one class on Streamline Ed. And how we do that is that we're going to go to, of course, go to Course Administration, right? And if the administration is over here, you click on it, and you will see it right there. So I like mine to be over here. And if you go down to User, okay, and notice down here there is something called Group. So Group allow you to create different groups. It makes sense. And Group will like periods, okay? So I'm going to create, and if you look at the option here, it tells you that you can create a group. And I'm going to call this Period 1 for my Period 1 Chemistry, okay? And then notice how we talk about the enrollment key. And then for the enrollment key, this enrollment key is specific to this specific period. So if you're letting your student know the enrollment key, make sure you change right away so that way they won't enroll in that way they don't share with a friend and their friend gonna enroll in the wrong period. So I'm gonna call this period 1A. That's enrollment key. And then you are pretty much done. Okay? So that's the basic of this. And now let's create oh, why am I doing period two? Let's go back and oh look at this. Period two. I want to create period one. So what can you do? Of course click on edit group setting and change that to one. Okay? So now, of course, the password will be the same thing again. Now, let's create another period called period two. So I'm teaching two periods of chemistry. If you're teaching three periods of chemistry, you'll be creating three separate groups. But for now, let's just do two, okay? So let's create another group. I call this period two. And what's my enrollment key gonna be? I call this period two A. Just be fancy. So there you go, and we have our another group. So two periods are now being created, and that's all you have to do when it comes to create different section or different periods for the same class.